Hey guys, I'm Joel. And I'm Charles. And welcome to our Everyone Pneumatic Training Safety Session, where we'll show you tips and demonstrate how to safely use your Everyone Pneumatic tools. We understand the importance of safe pneumatic tool operation and strive to make sure our Everyone users know safety always comes first. Across construction and industrial sites, pneumatic nailers have greatly increased productivity and efficiency. Sometimes with faster work comes a greater potential risk. And an even greater responsibility to act safely. So are you ready? There are thousands of emergency room visits each year resulting from nailers. And about a fourth of those were not even the operator, but a bystander. And it's suspected that a lot more injuries go unreported and medically untreated. How do we know about unreported cases? Because most often nailing injuries are always something you see. In the hands, the fingers are the most common, but more serious injuries and even death can occur. Remember, both experienced professionals and novice users are at risk of harming themselves or others. Uh, as a matter of fact, experienced professional users are at even higher risk of bruised egos and hurt pride in the aftermath of a nailer injury. Yeah, and unless you're accepting an engagement proposal from your nailer, that's not the type of jewelry you want around your finger. So make safety a priority to keep everyone around you safe. Nailers and staplers are simple tools to use. So why do accidents still occur? Well, here are some of the most common reasons for injuries. Lack of training, improper work procedures, negligence, nail ricochet, lack of maintenance or improper maintenance, horseplay, modifying tools to bypass safety procedures, and high pressure sources like oxygen bottle gases and combustible gases. As easy as it may seem to operate a nailer, it still requires training. And yes, even professionals need training too. Training should start with reviewing the work procedures and then get into operational training. The hands-on learning how to hold the nailer, operating the air compressor, firing the nailer, and holding the lumber in place, recognizing ricochet-prone surfaces, handling malfunctions, and even awkward positions. Let's go over some general safety tips. Number one, read your manual. Your user manual is your greatest resource. And remember, different brands and models may work differently, so it's important to follow the manufacturer's tool labels and instructions before use. Make sure that tool manuals are readily available on the job site. You can also visit the manufacturer's website to view digital versions. Number two, wear personal protective equipment. Why? Because by its very definition, PPE provides protection. The essentials are hard hats, high impact eye protection, safety glasses, and hearing protection, either ear plugs or ear muffs. Another good tip is to wear safety shoes, such as steel toed boots. And personal protective equipment is a must every time you are on the work site. Number three, know your trigger. Huh? Know your trigger. Huh? Ah, <laughs> know your trigger. <laughs> the type of trigger system is an important factor and is generally identified with a color coding method. Most nailers today rely on two basic controls, a finger trigger and a contact safety tip located on the nose of the tool. The three main trigger mechanisms are sequential, contact, and selective trigger. Sequential is the safest trigger type. Identified with a white or silver trigger, the nail can only be driven by following a sequence. First, the safety contact tip must be pushed against the workpiece. And second, the trigger should be actuated. The trigger must be released to drive another nail. On the other hand, contact trigger, identified with the color black, drives a nail when the safety contact and trigger are both activated in any order. You can push the safety contact tip first and then squeeze the trigger, or you can squeeze the trigger first and then push the safety contact tip. If the trigger is kept squeezed, a nail will be driven each time the safety contact is pushed in, commonly known as bump firing. Selective trigger comes with a switch that can either make the tool sequential or contact fire. But be aware that the risk of a nail or injury can be impacted by the type of trigger you use, especially if the user is unfamiliar with the proper usage. Trigger operation a fourth type of triggering system that is sometimes seen in trigger fire mode. 
This trigger mode is only permitted in specialized applications and environments. In this trigger mode, no work contacting element is used. The tool will cycle by simply squeezing the trigger. Some tools come with double triggers in this case, in which a secondary trigger needs to be engaged before the actuation trigger can be pulled. Now different brands will use different trigger identification systems. So if you have a question about it, you can ask your supervisor or you can rewind this video and watch it again. And number four, only use air compressors. High pressure power sources like oxygen, bottle gases and combustible gases are not made for pneumatic nailers. Each tool is labeled with the correct pressure required for operating the tool. Follow the recommended PSI. You can also reference the owner's manual. And remember to inspect the tool before each use. Check power sources before operating to make sure that they are in proper working order. Take broken or malfunctioning nailers out of service immediately. Make sure to use the right nailer for the right job. For example, if you're using a joist hanger nailer, the tool has a protruding nail tip, as you see in our MCN40B. This tool should not be interchanged with the regular framing nailer. For example, the FSN3490 framing strip nailer has a safety tip and a serrated nose made especially for framing. If used on a joist hanger, it could result in a ricocheted nail. Here are some practical points when using your nailer. Don't point the tool in the direction of yourself or someone else. Set up operations so that your workers are not at risk of being hit by nails from their coworkers' tools. Keep your finger off the trigger unless you're ready to fire. Practice trigger discipline when holding or carrying a nailer. Keep the work area clean and maintain good balance. This means keeping the area free of unnecessary clutter that can cause you to trip. And keep your holding hand well back for placement work. Keep your hand at least 12 inches away from the nailing point at all times. Do not try to nail something that's beyond your reach, as you may not always have as much control over the tool as in a normal operation. Report injuries. Many nailer injuries go unreported and employers should ensure that their policies encourage reporting injuries. This helps ensure that employees get medical attention and also helps identify unrecognized job site risk. Even close calls should be reported. They do provide teachable moments. And do not horseplay. Reporting close calls identifies unrecognized job site risk, whereas horseplay creates unnecessary risk. Always remember to unplug the tool from an air compressor when transporting the tool, reloading, adjusting, unjamming, passing it to a coworker, performing maintenance on the nailer, or when leaving it unattended. After using the tool, unplug the tool from the air compressor. Do not modify the tool to bypass safety features or other modifications. It doesn't matter how good of a mechanic you are, never bypass or disable the tool's safety features. This is strictly prohibited. Tampering includes, but is not limited to, removing a spring from the safety contact tip and or tying it down, taping the trigger so it does not need to be pressed, and tampering increases the, the chance the nailer will actuate unintentionally and there is no legitimate reason to modify or disable a nailer safety device. Now last but not least, for pneumatic tool maintenance, use only oil for pneumatic tools. Trust me, it makes a difference. So to sum up, here are the major safety rules before and during pneumatic nailer and stapler usage. Before usage, one, read your manual. Two, PPE. Three, know your trigger. Four, only use air compressors. Five, use proper tool for the job. Safety rules during use. One, don't point the tool in an unsafe direction. Two, keep finger off the trigger. Three, clean, safe work area and positioning. Four, report any injuries or malfunctions. Five, always unplug tools when not in use. And six, never modify the tool. Congratulations, you've completed the safety training video. The information and safety tips in this video are intended for general information, and this is not a substitute for proper live, hands-on training. That's right, Charles. So by following these rules and tips, 
you can really reduce your risks while still maximizing speed and efficiency of these powerful tools. Hopefully you're inspired to consider more carefully safety at your workplace. Work hard and stay safe.